everyone my name is Heather and I have another scrapbook process video for you today so <clears throat> sorry I'm still getting over my cold but it's definitely better so I'm going to try to do this without um, much craziness in my voice so but bear with me so I love this layout um, this is using doodle bugs milk and cookies collection and you guys if you've been watching my videos you know I love doodle bug um, this is probably one of my favorite uh, of course, I probably say that with every collection of theirs, but I love this collection. Um, it's perfect for Christmas photos, but there's also a lot you can do, which I will do um, in another layout coming up. There's a lot you can do that are with photos that are not Christmas related, um, baking photos and stuff because of the milk and cookies. So I had these two four by six pictures of my son with Santa on Christmas Eve. He always comes to visit my kids on Christmas Eve and they sit on his lap and get a present. And I have the six by six pad paper pa ah, paper pad with this collection. So I wanted to mount um, the two photos onto one to make it kind of like one four by six um, picture. And I chose that red like brick pattern. And the reason is because what I'm doing here is I'm looking through my 12 by 12 pattern papers and I wanna make the room kind of look like an actual room with Santa in it. And I was thinking I would, originally I was thinking I would pick like one, the blue one would be that you can see on the screen there would be like the wall color and then this one would be like the floor color. But I ended up just using this floor color. But I liked the brick pattern. Um, you can't see our fireplace in the picture and it doesn't really matter that much. Um, it just makes for a really great map photo mat anyway but our fireplace is really close to where Santa is sitting in this picture anyway so um, I just chose that kind of dotted pattern paper for the bottom half um, to give it a little base to sit on and now I'm going to go through all of my die cuts to figure out what would make it look like the room itself I hope that makes sense so um, there was that actual fireplace there and like I said Santa wasn't too far off of our fireplace so where Santa is sitting right to the left of my son is our TV cabinet and then behind them right kind of to the right is our Christmas tree and um, then the fireplace next to that don't worry we don't have fires when our Christmas tree is up <laughs> but um, <clears throat> So I'm going to pop dot up these or this picture or these pictures um, with some foam tape. I'm not gluing them down yet, but I was hoping to use that fireplace. That fireplace doesn't actually make it. And currently I did put down that green border sticker strip, but I'm going to pull that up because all of that will be covered and I didn't want to waste it. So here I am. I'm kind of putting the tree to the side of the fireplace like it is in our house and then there's that cute little table with the milk and cookies for Santa on there and we don't keep the milk and cookies in the living room because our animals would eat it but um, it, it doesn't matter I'm just kind of making this I, like it doesn't have to be exactly like our house is I just really wanted to there's this cute window acetate picture I just kind of wanted to use up all these really cute die cuts and then I also have the sticker sheet the cardstock stickers that go with it and I'm going to use some of those eventually so I have Santa here and I have the Christmas tree I know for sure that I want the Christmas tree to go on there and I really wanted um, I really want to get like that door in that acetate window I mentioned a minute ago. So I'm going to play around with all of these die cuts quite a bit. Um, the brick fireplace isn't going to make it on there, but the door is going to go there where I put it just now. And that acetate window is going to go on the side. And um, definitely this is not how our house looks, obviously, at this point, but... I am going to be able to fill in a lot more of the space. So basically all of the um, area around the photos is going to be filled in with a bunch of die cuts. So I am going to, this is basically how it's looking so far is how it's going to be. I have that little table with the milk and cookies that I mentioned earlier. I tucked that in behind the photos up there 
And now I'm going to start gluing some things down. I found this sticker that says Santa's coming. And I like that it's kind of like somebody is saying it from off the page. Like Santa's coming, everybody get ready type of thing. So I went ahead and started gluing everything down on this side. And a lot of things I'm going to pop up with foam tape and a lot of things I'm going to leave flat. So I'm popping up the little puppy. Um, I thought that would kind of go with the fact that we have a puppy. So I liked that on there. And he's a really cute puppy anyway. So um, um, sorry for my head. Um, oh, hang on. Sorry, my, oh, hang on. Okay, sorry about that. My daughter was calling me and she had just left. I wanted to make sure she didn't get in a car accident because she actually got into her first accident the other day. <laughs> Luckily, nobody was hurt and there was very little damage. So um, yeah, it was okay. Everybody goes through that once in their life at least, right? Okay, so um, back to the layout. I am gluing down everything on this side of the layout. The tree is going to just slightly, I believe, go off the edge of the layout, but none of the bulbs on the tree are going to go off the edge. Um, I'm also popping up Santa with foam tape, and I liked how that Santa looked. Originally, I was gonna try to use the one you can see there on the far left of the screen with him in the chimney, um, but that's okay. And this collection has such really cute, uh, oh, everything. It's got little candies. It would work for making cookies. It would work for um, decorating gingerbread house, all kinds of stuff. So I think this um, baking, if you're baking anything and it doesn't necessarily need to be Christmas themed, I think this layout would work or this collection would work perfect. So I put one of those little candies there um, next to the stocking above the photos. And I am, there's another sticker. It's a speech bubble, but I was trying to tuck it down um, underneath Santa there. And it says, ho, ho, ho. So I kind of liked that. It added another speech bubble. So it kind of goes with the speech bubble on the right hand side. The only thing that now after putting that speech bubble sticker that says, ho, ho, ho on it, there is a little bit of space between Santa, the tree and the speech bubble. So I am, I believe I find something to fill that in with later. And so there's a lot of candy canes in this collection also, and I'm trying to find, in our house, Santa always leaves um, candy canes on the tree. He puts candy canes on the tree um, Christmas Eve. So I'm trying to add some candy canes on there. I can't remember since it was a while ago since I did this layout, but I'm pretty sure that I do get a candy cane on there somewhere. But I, I'm really trying to just, Nobody who sees this in the future might put that together. That's just something that I'm thinking of when I'm making this layout. So um, that was just my thoughts on the candy cane. And I'm also going to pop up this word Santa. This was part of the die cut pack. And that's pretty much going to be my title. I am going to add the year underneath it in a little while here. You will see that coming up. And I also have the sticker of Mrs. Claus and I like it there. Um, no Mrs. Claus came or anything like that with Santa. She never comes or anything, but I liked that she went along with all the other elements on the page and she's the sticker one is smaller than the die cut one. So she doesn't stand out a whole lot as far as, um, <clears throat> sorry, there was an ant on my computer. Dang it. Sorry. <laughs> a lot of distractions this time around, huh? So what I'm doing now is I have the enamel dots. These are so gorgeous. I love them. They're glittery. There's all different sizes there. I love enamel dots by Doodlebug. They always do really fun ones. So I am, I have seen another layout where somebody covered the tree with these enamel dots and I love how it looked. And again, I'm sorry about my head. I will adjust my camera. Um, I did this layout a couple days before I went to the crop um, and I took my camera to the crop. So I will adjust it when I get home so that Hopefully I'm not in it as much, um, the future videos. So I'm just trimming off the little edge of the tree there and I'm going to add some little tiny heart die cuts and stickers around. And um, at the very end, which I don't know if I videotape, I think I turn the camera off when I do it, but you will see in the close-up pictures, I took my Nuvo crystal glitter drops and I went crazy. I went to town and I put glitter on a lot of things. I think I put it on the little balls of the Santa hats. I think I put it on the cookies and on the circle bulbs or lights on the wreaths. 
Um, I guess I could have put it on the star on the tree. I didn't think about that, but I'm just adding a few little dots around the title of where it says Santa also. So it kind of just adds a little bit more interest down there. And um, here I am. Oh, and there's where I got the candy cane in. I forgot about that. I put the candy cane in Santa's hand and I really like that. That made me happy. That got a candy cane on the page. And not only that, but it was more towards the fact that Santa's the one that brings the candy cane. So um, that made me really happy. I liked that. So I'm just adding a few more things in. I'm just kind of going die cut crazy with this layout. But I really like how it turns out. It's different than most of my layouts. Um, so that part was fun, uh, fun of it. That part was fun of it. <laughs> That part was really fun and I'm just using, just trying to place some more of these enamel dots and shapes around. I have the gingerbread man, I have the milk and cookies one, I have, um, and the, the hearts and just the circles that I went crazy. So here I am, I'm thinking that now that it's all finished, maybe matting it. You know I've been on the kick of matting my layouts onto another color, a solid color. But I didn't want to use up an entire page. So there was this border sticker strip and I decided to see what it would look like at the top and I really like how that looked. And so what I'm going to do is I liked it at the top but I felt like it needed something to anchor it and the bottom. So I'm just trimming off that page that I thought I was going to mount it on. I'm just trimming off a tiny, uh, I don't even know if it's an eighth of a inch of a strip and I actually cut it crooked. Um, and I'm going to place it down at the bottom and that really gave it something to sit on on the bottom and I really like how this layout turned out and I know I keep saying that so forgive me <laughs> but here is um, some doodle bug stickers and these are the Abigail um, font I guess you would call it so I'm just adding the 2017 I love it because the red is the exact same red because they keep their colors the same oh and there is where I started to add all the glitter drops and you can see where I added all the glitter drops on the wreath there and um, I even added it to the cookie and there's another candy cane I got on the layout so I hope you guys like this layout and I had a lot of fun making it I will see you guys next time thanks bye